May Thurner syndrome, also termed iliac compression syndrome, is a syndrome named after the authors R. May and J. Thurner, who first described the phenomenon in 1957. It's a congenital narrowing of the common iliac vein due to pressure from the overlying common iliac artery. This lesion usually occurs in the left common iliac vein in younger females, but it is not uncommon in males or in elderly patients and may involve the right limb. At least 15% of limbs with primary disease have been shown to have stenosis or abnormal narrowing of both common and external iliac veins. This squeezing of the vein from the artery makes a person more likely to develop deep vein thrombosis, which can be a potentially serious blood clot obstructing the circulation of the blood in that vein. If left untreated, it may be life-threatening. Symptoms may include leg swelling and numbness, lumbar back pain, disproportionately swollen left leg, development of varicose veins, and ulcers. However, in many patients there are no symptoms even when the iliac vein is considerably compressed. Stenting of the iliac vein is the treatment of choice for May-Thurner syndrome. Under fluoroscopic imaging, a balloon is first inserted and directed to the area of compression where it is expanded to open up the vein. A stent is a small mesh metallic tube that is used to treat narrowing of the blood vessels. The stent is placed using intravascular ultrasound. Intravascular ultrasound is a thin catheter that is inserted into the vein after local anesthesia to produce images of the compressed or obstructed veins, allowing the surgeon to evaluate the best place for the stent. Once the stent is placed inside the vein, it expands to fill the vessel, thus providing support for the compressed vein and permitting the uninterrupted blood flow. This protects the iliac vein from further compression by the nearby artery. I'm going to rephrase all that for non-technical, non-medical ears. May-Thurner syndrome is a syndrome whereby an artery in one leg is lying on top of the accompanying vein and that vein tends to become obstructed and grow clots because the blood is not flowing properly. The treatment for this damaged vein is to go in endovascularly, in other words, using a catheter and not doing a big operation but going in through a small incision, to go in and place a stent in the affected vein. A stent is a little metal tube that holds open the vein so that blood can flow normally through it and it does not become obstructed. So that is, in non-medical terms, May-Thurner syndrome and the best treatment for that syndrome. For people who suffer from May-Thurner syndrome or other complex vascular diseases, your best bet is to see a vascular surgeon.